hello friends in this video lecture we will see one problem based on cpu scheduling algorithm which was asked in gate 1993 examination and the problem is assume that following jobs are to be executed on a single processor system jobs are assumed to arrive at zero that is arrival time and in the order p q r s t calculate the departure time that is completion time for job p if scheduling is round robin with time slice one so what is given there in the problem that all processes are arrived at time zero means arrival time for all processes that is all jobs p q r s t is zero and we have to follow round robin scheduling algorithm with time slice of one that is time quantum of one so let's sketch nat chat means at zero ready q will be like this we give preference to job ids p q r s yes, and t so this is our ready queue at time zero this is head of the ready queue and this one is the tail of the ready queue here all jobs are arrived at time zero and we are giving priority with the help of job ids that is from p q r s t so p will get cpu at zero for one unit so remaining time for p is three after p next job is q q will hold cpu for unit time one that is time quantum one time quantum and the cpu burst time of q is same in that case q will be successfully executed then after execution of q r will get cpu and will execute for one and remaining time for r is seven after r at three yes will get cpu and will execute for one that is total time is four here execution time of yes and the time quantum that is time slice given is also one so this yes will be successfully executed after yes cp will be given to t for one unit so one part of t will be executed and remaining part of t is one so here up to five all processes have been executed in a round robin pattern with time quantum of one job q and job yes are successfully executed at time five ready q will be like this p r and t only three jobs are there in the ready q so cpu will be given to job p for unit time one total time is six means one part of this p will be executed remaining time for p is two one part of the p is executed remaining time is two then after p cpu will be given to r for unit time one total time is seven r will be executed for one remaining time is six here then after r next process that is next job is t will execute for one that is up to eight t will be successfully executed here at eight our ready queue will have process p and process r so after t cp will be assigned to p for unit time 
1 total time is 9 and the remaining time for job p is 1 after p cpu will be given to r r will hold cpu for one unit that is time quantum and remaining time for r is 5 after r cpu will be assigned to p for unit time 1 and here p's remaining time is 0 means p is successfully executed and cpu will be given to r here at 12 r's remaining time is 4 so at 12 there is only one job in the ready queue which requires four units to complete so what is asked in the question calculate departure time that is completion time for job p if there is a round robin scheduling algorithm with time slice of one so we got our answer here that p is completed here at 11 so this is our answer if we continue this net chat then r will be executed like this so that is about the complete net chat means r will be completed at 16 and we are asked about departure time of p answer is 11 thank you for watching for more such videos stay connected with this channel thank you